Well, I'm not in the truck right now, but I've cleared a bunch of space for uh, the remainder of stuff that is in the truck. And of course, something there's always something in the way, isn't there? Well, there's this thing. And uh, I figured I'd better make a video on this. Uh, it is a very, very interesting, cool device. Uh, probably give Mark a boner, that's for certain. Anyway, um, this video is sort of plea for help because I'm looking for a technical manual for this. This is an ANUGA3. There we go, converter shift register group and uh, made by Track Electronics, which apparently is still around today, uh, called Track Microwave. And uh, obviously they're not gonna have information on this. This is from uh, early 60s, I think 1961. And what it is, very interestingly, is an automatic Morse code to teletype converter. Basically, you feed it um, a Morse signal, and I think it uh, basically 1,000 hertz tones, a kilohertz tone, you know, Morse, dots and dashes, and it spits out the corresponding uh, Bado uh, teletype character. It works at anywhere from about 10 to 120 words per minute. Uh, you can see some of the controls there. There's a little scope, probably for checking uh, uh, modulation, comparative, well, it says comparator, filter assembly. Uh, now, I believe this thing is basically just a big transistorized state machine. Let's open it up. There we go. Uh, the usual foam's falling apart. I have these big cards here, a card cage. And uh, it does look like there are cards missing. I did take those out. Here's one of the cards. And you can see, looks like little modules on a motherboard. So interesting uh, extra level of packaging here. Sort of like interdated it, actually. Um, I'm going to assume these little things here are actually little well, gates and flip-flops and such like that. The cards are all subtly different, and... What my guess is, is that it's basically a big state machine, a big tree that, uh, you know, each branch is, well, either a dot, a dash, or blank spot where there's no more character. Uh, there has to be, I guess, some sort of, of timing business going on. It's probably what uh, that bit's for there, um, to make the decision. And it forms up uh, teletype character and puts it into a shift register and spits it out. Now, why the Navy made this, I'm uh, not entirely certain. I don't think they made too many of them. This one's got a pretty low serial number. Of course, that doesn't really mean much, but um, this is the only one I've seen, by the way. Um, in any case, there are, I know there are at least a few people looking for them, and they have not seen seen any. This may be the only one in, in the flesh they've seen. Um, I would like to get this going, but I don't have a technical manual. I just have a little bit that came out of um, some of the Navy directories. No real real meat there. It's it's yeah. I could probably figure out uh, the power connection. There's a big 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 connector on the back. Um, but, you know, I'd rather not fry anything, because pretty rare device. Now, one of the reasons why I took the cards out here, because um, when I was looking at this, I thought there was a card missing. But it turns out, much to my surprise, I oh, can barely see in there, um, there actually is one of the spots is a really short card. So the space I thought was a, had, had no card, a missing card, actually has a very, very short card. So I'm... Very happy that this seems to be a complete device. Hopefully complete. At least all the cards are there. I did notice, however, there is a, a an online reseller of military parts that apparently has some boards to this thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to know how much he would charge for that. Those guys are. Those guys can. Uh, 
uh, oh boy. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if I get a quote back, you know, $2,000 a board or something like that. So, you know what? I've got the boards. All I have to do is get the data and then figure this out. Now, how well this worked? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have any stories about it. Um, you know, I think these were, were made to receive the Morse off the air and um, through one of the standard military uh, Navy receivers. And uh, well, I'll just go, go to a, a teletype uh, machine to be either punched on tape or, or printed out or both. I don't see why you couldn't feed this Morse by hand with a, a thousand, thousand hertz uh, code oscillator. You know, you, I suppose you might have to be a pre, have a pretty good stiff fist, a uh, nice tight fist to form the the uh, uh, the dash, dats, dashes and dots properly. I don't know how much slop there is. There's clearly some, but uh, you know, I really don't know. There, there, if you look at the the knobs, you can see. Well, you know, you can see there's there's oh, like that QRM extreme. Apparently, if uh, that's probably has to do with uh, the comparator. Um, but there's thresholds and stuff like that. Uh, the bottom has not much. We have kind of a very rough uh, words per minute. Oh, you got a words per minute meter. That's cool. Um, so you could kind of figure out where you are. If, if say, you're listening off the air and you expect it to be 95 uh, words per minute. Oh, well, that knob's loose, but you'd go over there and then you'd turn that over. And I suppose that sort of optimizes the timing system. Uh, it's probably a little bit of slop. Um, but once again, yeah, I'm not entirely certain because I don't have the manual. I have essentially no docs on this whatsoever. It'd be really great if a technical manual would show up. But I haven't seen one. I have a lot of military manuals, and I really mean a lot. And this is one I've never gotten. I've never, never come across a UGA-3 manual. So if you've got one, please let me know. Uh, the Navy radio site um, on the net also is, is certainly looking for a manual. And, you know, we could scan it and get that get that up online. You know, I don't care if I get a scanned copy or a real hard copy. I just need the information to get this thing going because I think it would be damn cool. Mind you, my Morse skills are <laughs> extremely suboptimal. Eh, I never became a ham. Um, but, you know, it might be kind of fun to fool around with this. And who knows, maybe even take it to like the MRCG show in, in California and, and uh, see if some of the teletype and Morse guys could, <laughs> could talk finally together again. All right, well, like I said, just cleaning up and made space, so I figured I would, hey, shoot out another video because this thing is op op out in the open, out in the open. It's going to go somewhere on a shelf, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's a project that's just going to have to wait until the manual shows up. Uh, yeah, yeah it, is he it is heavy. It is damn heavy, so it's going to be a certain amount of grunting to get it back on the shelf, but yeah, I'll manage so, uh, yeah. So I didn't expect to make so many videos so fast, but, uh, well, things are moving along here. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep up this, uh, this, uh, not everyday video making, but what, uh, those two IBM pieces that I made a video for, hmm, what was it, just a couple days ago, weren't they? Anyway, like I said, don't know if I'll be able to do that. So, uh, yeah. Just to let you know, you know that Vax 11780 that was in the background uh, in, in the truck? Well, here's the other half of it. I'll make a video about this eventually. This is the other half of the video because uh, of the Vax. Um, that thing with the nine fans is actually a CSPI array processor that's built into the Vax. So it makes it kind of a neat, unique Vax. Um, it originally made a, uh, I think, X-ray crystallography machine maybe anyway i'll do a video about that at, at some point but more, more this video is about this this gray box here okay well uh if you like it leave a like maybe share this maybe even subscribe watch some past videos and comment i actually do look at the comments 
And, uh, yeah. Okay, well, I gotta get back to work. Things to do. Stuff to move. See you later, guys.